Welcome back, guys. Today's Fashion Forward really is just that. We're looking ahead to summer 2022 because everyone likes being a trendsetter, right? Here to talk about how to incorporate these looks into your summer wardrobe is stylist and author Heather Newberger. Hey, Heather. Hey, how's it going, Natalie? Great. We are talking about kind of the next big things. First, let's look at this drawstring dress. Can you explain why this is a good option for every body? Oh, it's so perfect for everyone, especially if you're looking for an investment piece. I think when you're looking to invest in something, you want something that's going to fit all your different kinds of body types, you know, kind of grow and contract with you depending on where you're at. And I think what's so great about the drawstring dress is it really offers you that option to kind of move back and forth with an intentional feeling. And I think intentionality is so important when we're talking about fashion. And then the next thing we're talking about here, which I really love, mesh, mesh dresses. They kind of give yeah. everyone a bit of a breathable fabric, a little more shape when it comes to summer. What should you look for, though, when it comes to getting the perfect fit for that style? Well, I think what's really important when it comes to mesh, especially when it's, you know, we're incorporating these resort 2022 trends, is that you really want something that's going to be body con, but also, again, that breathability you're talking about. I think what's so great about mesh body con versus sort of a mesh or uh, even a body con dress that's going to be a little bit more spandexy is that it just doesn't have that breathability. So you want to make sure that you're picturing something that really feels good on you too, because it's going to highlight all of those great assets, you know, a tinier waist, a bigger bosom, a, a lovely butt. You know, so you want to make sure you're very comfortable in those spaces, whether, you know, you're choosing something that's picking up different parts of your form or not, whether it's larger, smaller, it's only going to show off your assets, but maybe just a little bit less than something that's working with Lyrica. Yeah. And I think that we're talking about something being comfortable. We're pretty much done with restrictive clothing, correct? Absolutely. I think the restrictive clothing is sort of out the door, especially when we're talking, again, when we're talking about a mesh dress as opposed to a bodycon, or we're kind of playing around with all these different silhouettes. You know, I've been predicting this ever since the pandemic was slowing to an end. We can't say it's really over just yet, but as we're coming out of our, you know, hard pants or our soft pants into our hard pants, you really want to think about things that are going to be sort of flattering for all silhouettes, you know, and really offer you that sort of bagginess. Uh, we're talking about maximalism a lot too in Resort 2022, which I personally love. And Runways is showing us a lot of summer bling. Where can we add some sparkle to our own wardrobe? Well, I think a dress, which is what we're seeing on the runways, is always a great place. We're seeing sparkles. We're seeing shine. I think it's super fun. But what you can also do is sort of add something smaller, add a headband, a hair clip. You don't have to lean fully into, you know, this great Gucci piece or Christopher John Rogers. I love those large sparkles. You can really add them in in any sort of way. Maybe it's even, you know, in some sort of interesting hair piece. I love in that um, Moschino look, you know, she has that turban on. Why not bring a turban into your everyday outfit? It adds something fun, interesting, exciting, but also it's a fun hair accessory too. I agree. And I have so many of those at home from shops back in LA and I'm afraid to wear them here for some reason. I feel like oh, it's man. like LA and then Boston in the two different fashion worlds, but I might pull it out. I think you should. I think embrace that future trends and just show everyone what you're all about and that, you know, you can bring the style to the Boston streets. Now, I'm sure about the turbans, but I'm a little unsure about this, this twiggy look with a twist. Why is mod coming back in style? So what's really interesting about fashion is that it cycles in these sort of 30-year time spans, right? So we're talking about, you know, in we're talking about mod is sort of in the, you know, the 60s world. And we kind of reimagined that in the 90s a bit. You know, we're bringing back the bell bottoms, the flares. We're looking at different, you know, we're doing the chain necklaces, et cetera. Now we're in 2021. We're bringing back those 90s styles and also those mod styles at the same time. So it's really interesting to see sort of bringing in those different pieces and elements to kind of play around with those things. So we love that Emilio Pucci skirt, which is really playing in some 90s colors, but also bringing in that sort of, you know, early, early 90s feel along with that sort of twiggy mod feel. And yeah. I think it's really exciting to see that that mix and that excitement of different styles because you want that ultimate remix when you're talking about your best and your favorite looks. Totally. A lot of those looks, they're very clueless to me. The small skirts, <laughs> the patterns, the colors, yeah. everything bright. All right, stylist Heather Duberger, thank you so much for joining us. You guys, of course, can watch Heather right here on Current every Friday. Make sure you check her out and her book, How to Date Your Wardrobe. Thanks, Heather.